uh, flado effects na in short leo nitakuwa very short sauti yangu ipo vizuri but tuta make sure kuwa tuna tunaweka vitu clear so leo nitaenda kufanya analysis ambayo ita base kwenye naked forex trading um tutatumia indicator yoyote ile so we are going to trade naked kwa maana ya kwamba support resistance trend lines ndio vitu pekee ambavyo vitatumika indicators hazitatumika so tutaangalia breakout na pullback at our entry point so leo uh, analysis ya leo in short ni, ni, ni special kwa ajili ya uh, moja ya lai ambaye aliuliza hapo chini kwenye comment akasema anahitaji kufahamu kuhusiana na naked trading au pure price action uh, so we, we, today tutafanya kwanza naked trading ambayo naked trading pia inahusisha PPA au pure price action so the first pair ambayo tutaenda ku analyze tutakuwa ni euro USD lakini pia nakukumbusha kama bado hujajiunga kwenye group la signals ambalo tayari watu wameanza kujiunga uh, kupitia WhatsApp pita kwenye description hapo utakutana na linki so tutakuwa na siku saba ambazo ni free uh, kuanzia tarehe tisa itakuwa ni VIP blue signals kwa maana ya kwamba utaanza kulipia so make sure uh, unaingia unaangalia kuangalia trial kama ukiona signals na kufaa then you can put your order kupitia admin ambayo utakutana nayo kwenye group la WhatsApp so you can yeah i think uh, namba unaweza kaiona hapo chini unaweza kanitafuta mimi au namba ambayo utaipata huko katika group la WhatsApp so payment ni through mpesa and go pesa only so namba 20 direct kwenye analysis ya euro usd uh, na make sure unakuwa tayari umefuatilia news za wiki hii hicho ni kitu cha msingi sana because hii tunayofanya ni technical analysis so sometimes news zinafanya interference ya technical analysis uh, au sometimes na ifavor so unaweza kuwa umebuy ika push uh, ile fluctuation ya price upande wako au ika push uh, against you na hiyo ikawa ni hasara kubwa so you must be very careful so as you see kwenye screen hapo uh, unaweza kaona chini tumechola uh, support kwa nini tumechola kwa sababu tuliona price kila ikifika hizo point kuna kuwa kama kuna kizingiti kwa maana ya kwamba inageuza na hiyo basi kawa ni sababu ya kwa nini tuliamua kuchola na baada ya kwa tumechola hapo Uh, what uh, uh, kilichofuata hapa ni kwamba tuliangalia tena opportunity nyingine ya kupata support or resistance au trend lines ambao pengine inaweza katuonyesha uh, muonekano ambao unaweza kuleta structure au zile price action patterns ambazo sisi tukiziona tunaweza tukajua kwamba what is going to happen to the market uh, na hii ni njia ambayo mtu yote anaweza kaitumia hata beginners Uh, ni, ni, ni laisi kuitumia it is very simple uh, shida inakuja tu kwamba most of uh, newbies wanataka vitu complex sana so wakiona support and resistance uh, pengine haziamini au wanahitaji ku, ku, ku trade vitu ambavyo ni complex uh, ni vizuri lakini because as you read more uh, utakuja kujifunza vitu vingi sana especially uh, background ya hizi support and resistance the way ambavyo zinafanya kazi So ni vizuri lakini ukitumia hizi support and resistance trend lines uh, PPA hizi price action patterns candlestick patterns inakuwa vizuri zaidi. So what you have to wait here baada ya kumechora support na resistance zako zitatengeneza kitu kinaitwa channel na hii ni horizontal channel kwa ma au ranging channel kwa maana ya kwamba you can see price ile inaenda juu ina knock inarudi chini inaenda juu ina knock inarudi chini so what do you expect kwa sababu tumeona ina tabia ya kwenda at a certain point kugusa na kurudi kugusa na kurudi tunachoamini kwamba kuna uwezekano pia hapa chini ambapo unapaona kwenye rasti candle price candle ikagusa na ikaanza safari ya kwenda juu so that is possible 
that is possible lakini you cannot conclude the dialect kwa maana hiyo tunafanya vitu viwili hapo tunasubiria vitu viwili uh, is a breakout or pullback so we have to wait for breakout or pullback kwa maana ya kwamba tutasubiri hiyo candlestick itafungua ambao uh, soko likifunguka kuna candle itafunguka so wait for that candle and then uh, itafanya retesting na subiri mpaka ifunge sije tu eti still in a run uh, we unaona imetoka nje eti unaona tayari imefanya breakout hapana isubirie kabisa mpaka ije uh, close ikifungua nyingine then you can buy or ukasell so you wait for the pullback or break breakout hivyo ndo vitu vya msingi zaidi so hapa still you have to be patient uh, niliwahi kuandika katika page yangu ya Instagram uh, flood of forex nikasema kwamba uh, forex is not about buying and selling only it is about uh, the matter of waiting the matter of patience kwa maana ya kwamba uh, kwenye forex hatunui tunakuuza hizo sio vitu viwili tu ambavyo tunafanya kwenye forex tuna kitu kinaitwa waiting kwa maana ya kusubiria kwamba opportunity kitokea ndio muda mzuri zaidi wa kufanya entry. Kwa mfano mtu mwingine ambaye ni mgumu pengine kusubiria ana moyo mgumu, hapa anaweza tu akashumu akaona no. Hapa kwa sababu imetengeneza channel, uh, hii lazima itaenda juu tena iendelee kutengeneza channel au kufanya ile horizontal. And that is not a right approach. Hata kama soko likija likaenda upande wako, still uh, it is not a good 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 um decision uh, kwa sababu sometimes hii kitu itakuja kuathiri baadaye uh, unachokitegemea sasa hivi sio kila mtu atakuwa kinatokea hicho hicho kwa lazima uwe patient uwe na moyo wa kusubiri uh, leo nimeamua kutumia hapa so you, you can you can use other methods kufanya confirmation ya yeah, either you are going to buy and sell but by using this naked forex trading we see uh, we are going to trade breakout or pullback so we are waiting for the pullback or breakout so ikitokea pullback hapa tutabai ikitokea breakout tutasell na nimekwambia wait for retesting then candle stick ki cross outside inayofunguka ile basi moja kwa moja unasell una lakini ikifanya pullback unasubiri kwanza ifunge ikifunga moja kwa moja ikifunga above uh, then uh, you can buy so that is the, uh, the way ambavyo we do this kind of business uh, kuna gbp usd gbp usd uh, gbp usd you can see metengeneza kama wage uh, and you can see wage ambayo ipo ambayo ni price action pattern uh, price action pattern you can see it has formed a wage na unaweza kuona ambavyo tulizichora hizi trend line uh, lakini pia hapo unaweza kaiona kuna kulikuwa na conference ya resistance pamoja na trend line ambayo ilisababisha ika push down hizi candlestick so what you have to do we expect kwamba uh, because it has started already going down imeshafanya pullback tunaamini kwamba it will keep going down uh, mpaka uh, i, pengine ikalibie kabisa na hii trend line ya chini or oh, you can see there uh, unaangalia kuna kizuizi kuna something like w ukija upande huu huku ambao itakusaidia kuko kuku, kama kama te, you are take profit so it, we don't expect a movement ya chini kuwa very strong because it is just a very very few pips before ijafika kwenye uh, support ya hapa chini ambapo kuna w bila shaka unaweza kaiona kwa pembeni tu hapo so that is the way ambavyo uh, we, we trade lakini mwingine anaweza akaangalia hapo akaona like uh, okay here anaona like kulikuwa na formation of m but hapo m haipo because we can see the neckline uh, haikuvu uh, neckline is not above uh, the, the 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 first leg kwa maana hiyo this is not w kwa maana hiyo lazima we very careful kuziangalia this is not m uh, pattern kwa maana hiyo lazima we very careful kwa kuziangalia lakini ukiangalia at this point um, ni sehemu ambao pia market maker huwa anafanya hunting sana kwa maana hiyo lazima uwe very careful as you can see it is at the PFL kwa maana ya kwamba at this point uh, anachofanya blocker anaweza katengeneza W as you can see there 
uh, kuna kama W litengenezwa you can see W ambayo the first first V unaweza ukaiona ilikuwa above the second V kwa maana ya kwamba uh, hii nambo inakuja kutengeneza inaweza kafanya uh, ikarudi chini kidogo ikafanya pull back then ikaendelea na safari ya juu and therefore we expect this week from uh, Wednesday hivi uh, inaweza hii ikaanza tayari bullish trend kwa maana hiyo you must be very careful uh, katika hii concept uh, USDJPY katika time frame ya H4 unaweza kaona imetengeneza pia channel channel ni nini channel is formed when there is uh, pale ambapo kuna kuwa na turn lines mbili ambazo ziko parallel to each other na unaweza kaona hapa uh, imeweza kutengenezwa channel so ambacho natakuwa kusubiria hapa una trade pullback au breakout as you can see just wait for the opening of another candle then kama itavunja trend line hapo juu uh, utabai na kama itarudi chini ifanye pullback uta sell because it itaendelea na mwendo kama ambavyo huko nyuma ilikuwa ikifanya so this is historical uh, price movement that's why tunaita technical analysis so you must be very careful hapo uh, na usiwahi sana kubaya au kusell make sure unasubiria hiyo pullback au breakout sio na maamzi haraka if you have other methods or other strategies you can also try to confirm uh, ili kufahamu either here we're going to have a pullback or a uh, uh, breakout but today we are going to use naked forex trading ambayo ndio itatusaidia katika analysis hii so let me let me go to another uh, this is usdjpy kwenye time frame ya 30 minutes unaweza kaona kwenye entry hapa chini kama kuna conference hapa uh, chini unaona kuna trend line alafu kuna support kwa maana ya kwamba kuna ugumu sana hapa hizo kenda usiki ku, kuvuka and therefore the uh, there is high probability of uh, buying then you have to take your profit kwenye 107.939 <clears throat> so that is the the best entry na wakumbusha tunafanya analysis kwenye time frame kubwa then entry tunakuja kuangalia kwenye time frame dogo 30 minutes or 15 minutes So it depends pia na wewe umefanya analysis kwenye monthly au vipi. Lakini most of time mimi analysis nafanya kwenye H4 au uh, D, D1 then entry ni 30 minutes or 15 minutes. So as you can see this is the best entry kwa hapo kiingia. Uh, lakini pia it is good kwa kusubiria pullback au breakout here. So itakuwa ni entry nzuri sana even though my um, makadiulo yangu naona It, it, it will go up kwa sababu ya conference ambayo inaonekana hapo so from there we go to another pair ambayo ni USD CHF you can see USD CHF ni kama ilikuwa inataka kutengeneza uh, this was going to be this was going to be a uh, channel unaweza kaona hapo the the lauza mistake katika kuchora kwenye trend line ya chini japo kwa it is very useful pia hata hapa ilipo lakini ni vyema zaidi ingechorwa uh, kwa kushushwa chini kidogo especially upande wa juu hii trend line ya chini uh, then uh, we could we could just wait for the breakout or pullback na ingekuwa vizuri zaidi kwa sababu i believe it is going it was going to, to form a conference pamoja na hii support ambayo ni ya chini chini kabisa na kwa sababu ya conference uh, tunachoamini kwamba it, it was going to do a pullback kwa hiyo kinaenda kufanya pullback we could buy and take our profit above before the uh, trend line ambayo iko hapo juu so that is the way tunafanya naked forex trading so it is not something complex that's why tunakuja kusema forex is not so difficult issue inakuja tu kwenye kuzisubiria hizi pullback na breakout watu wengi wanashindwa lakini pia lazima ufahamu uh, kitu kinaitwa fake breakout kwa maana hiyo breakout pia inaweza kakudanganya kwa maana lazima uwe very careful usiwahi sana breakout okay just wait it close like candle wait for another candle to open okay so it close around the pale pale it means you have to wait for another kama mfano ni h4 it means you have to wait for another four hours so it never one or you can go to a small time frame sababu kwenye time frame dogo ndo tunaangalia ile entry unanielewa eh so that is the the, the way ambavyo tuna tuna trade uh, lakini the, the, lazima pia uangalie trend don't trade against the trend unless 
otherwise you're scalping just a few pips okay and now that will be correction and not impassive because it's so good you have to angalia trend uh, lakini sometimes tunafanya correction linaenda juu hata kama ni upward trend ni kwamba litakuwa linaenda juu but some correction will be done on the way kwa maana ya kwamba 20 to 30 pips zitakuwa zina au 15 to 20 pips zitakuwa zinapatikana and then or more sometimes depending on the time frame so we we so we, we today we are trading breakout and pullback only so your CCHF wait for the pullback or breakout but here we see a uh, percent kubwa it can do a pullback a bullish but make sure this is not a swing trading so if any swing trading up on as okaona so we we are just doing like taking profits after our analysis this is not a swing so see we see swing yet come on by one of the so wait for the breakout or pullback buy and uh, then uh, take your your pips there so here you can take like a hundred pips usd chf tunaenda kwenye nzd usd unaweza kaona hapo imetengeneza upward uh, the, the 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 wedge unaweza kaiona hiyo wedge na exactly candlestick ambayo ime, imefunga ya kijana ambayo ni bearish imefunga exactly katika uh, uh, katika trend line so kama imefunga katika trend line just wait for the breakout or pullback kivunja chini kafungia chini kando itakuja kufunguka hapo uh, sa sita usiku and then sell and if it does a pullback you can buy so wait for your entry entry unaangalia wapi kwenye small time frame na hapa pia the same concept you have a channel and this is cdjpy h4 so we are waiting for breakout or pullback kisha fanya breakout au pullback decision utakazofanya ni the same so we are doing the same uh, we are using the same concept cha msingi tu jua kuzichora hizi support and resistance kwa usahihi zaidi uh, itakusaidia zaidi uh, the, i think this can be the last one ni euro jpy euro jpy unaweza kuona down here we have a very 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 strong uh, support and therefore we are waiting for it lakini kumbuka this zone it is a zone of uh, market maker kufanya kazi yake hapa so lazima we very careful pia kufahamu kwamba we are we going to have a pullback or breakout here uh, so what you have to wait wait uh, for the pullback or breakout uh, then take you a few pips there get out of the market kwa sababu sio mazingira salama zaidi kwako so another pair that we analyzed in GBP NZDD unaweza kaiona hapo uh, so downward here we have support unaweza kaiona so what happened the price ilikuja kwenye support ikashindwa kuvuka so na sasa hivi ipo kwenye uh, resistance so tunachotegemea hapo it is breakout or pullback uh, ikifanya uh, breakout uh, it means uh, buy then take your profit when you 1.85220 about uh, pips nyingi tu hapa because this is h1 ni pips nyingi more than 100 pips unaweza kuchukua then you are out of the market so do that ikifanya pull back it means take your profit below he support and then uh, get out of the market so that is how we do analysis, uh, especially naked. So you need the simplest way of trading. Uh, atakama wewe ni, 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 ni new, new business, I think unawezo utakume ni elewa kabisa. Nothing ambacho ni melezea ni complex. Everything ambacho ni melezea um kilikuwa very simple na kilikuwa kinaeleweka kabisa. So what you have to know ni jinsi ambavu tunachora hizi support na resistance even ndo vitu vya msingi zaidi ambavyo unatakiwa uvifahamu so make sure unafuatilia kufahamu zaidi support resistance trend lines ili uweze kuzimaster vizuri the way ambavyo tunazichora because trend line yenyewe kama yenyewe inaweza kukuletea pia some strategies yeah nilivyokuwa naanza kusoma nilikuwa nasoma hizo unakuta wanaita trend line breakout strategy you see so you can just use trend lines 
uh, katika trading zako kujua either you are going to buy or to sell unaweza kutumia support and assistance but warning ni kwamba uh, sometimes this uh, breakout and pullbacks uh, they are fake kwa maana ya kwamba zinaweza pia zikakudanganya so unaweza kuona imefanya uh, imefanya breakout afu na shangai narudi tena maana so lazima pia ujifunze strategies nyingi zaidi ili ku avoid these fake breakout that is the only way ambayo itakusaidia wewe kukua katika biashara ya forex that's why tunasema kila siku zidi kuwa mwanafunzi so jifunze strategies tofauti tofauti ambazo zitakusaidia wewe kudetermine sasa kwamba are you going to buy or to sell sisahau kusubscribe ku like na ku comment uh, katika description link utakutana na a uh, link ya group so click direct watu wengi wana na napewa taarifa kwamba wana wana wanataka wana, wana kuunganishwa personal yani anamfuata dimini kaka naomba uniunganishe kwenye group uh, wakati already source ambayo katokea kasikia information kulikuwa na link so please naomba tu uh, tu tuelewane hapo in short tu tu tuwe wastaalabu kidogo so you, you just go to the description utakutana na link na wale ambao wanapita Instagram pia kila post ambayo inaelezea ili group kuna link pale chini so ni vizuri ukiklik hiyo link ikakuunganisha moja kwa moja uh, kuliko ku, 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 kumfuata admin direct kwa hiyo itakuwa ni vizuri zaidi kumpunguzea pia majukumu ambayo ni unnecessary so thanks for listening have a nice trading week na from today hii ni saa sita na dhan we we will start our free signals trial through our group so you can join fast as possible kwanza the next monday at 29 we are going to start our service so make sure you before you join vip signal is not free so you have to pay uh, na payment method nimesha sema mwanzoni kwa tanzania it is mpesa and tigwe pesa paypal also can be used for the payment So make sure make sure you don't miss this VIP signals at $25 only monthly and our accuracy is very high especially on our signals so thanks for listening have a nice trading week